forces are descending on harmony, Andorra, and we are at the center of the maelstrom. This is no time for jokes. I'm sorry I tricked you into that cage, but you gave Mummy no choice, sweet pea. We are leaving town now, and that's all there is to it. Endora. Mortals die. That is just something you will have to get used to over the centuries. But Norma and Edna are going to be saved. That's something to be happy about, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to meet them at Precious's place. Down south, in sunnier climes. And we'll forget all about Harmony's horrible demise. Dora, sometimes self-preservation comes before anything. Help them, Tabitha, help them. You have to save them from certain death. Dora, don't interrupt, please. I can read that. Uh, is Endora in that little cage? And who's her daddy? With Julian and you? <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> Nothing, I just... Well, he certainly gets around. <laughs> We should compare notes sometime. Uh, uh, yes, Endora, honey. Julian is in the church. Your daddy has eaten poisonous mushrooms and he's probably dying a horrible death right now. I am supposed to ignore hundreds of years of crane cruelty and save Julian Crane? No such thing. You are a lemmick through and through. Please, Tabitha, you have to listen to her. You cannot let your own daughter's father die. Just watch me. You are a brave and foolish girl, Esme. Out of my way. You know, I could turn you into a pile of ashes just like that. Okay, somebody has got to tell you what's what. Now, I'm surprised at you, Tabitha. I thought more of you than this. You're all talk and no action. I got a half an hour of poor me's, but when it comes down to it, you were willing to let innocent people die. That makes you worse than a typical mortal, don't you think? I'm sorry, Endora. But my hands are tied. I can't do anything. As I told Esme earlier, the evil that's come to Harmony is going to seek out the residents, the mortals, wherever they go. Now, even if I could save Julian and all those people in the church, they're going to die anyway, so what does it matter? That is not written in stone. How would you know? Well, I've been doing some research on evil prophecies, which, and you've been holding out on us. Sometimes, an act of unexpected goodness happening in the midst of evil can change the course of things. Where did you get that from? Scooby-Doo. But I think that you, uh, saving all those people in the church could be the act of goodness that changes the prophecy. <laughs> no, not me. No way. Indora and I are leaving, and that is fine. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Something else is going on here. There's another reason that you don't want to go into that church. Oh, don't be silly. You can't fool me. There is something stopping you from going into that church. There's another reason. What is it, Tabitha? Esme. Maybe your heart is in the right place, but you are sticking your nose into all the wrong places, places where it doesn't belong. Now, will you please get out of my way and let my daughter and I begin our journey? 
We are leaving here. And I, I wish you luck, because you are going to need it. Uh-uh, no, not so fast. I want the truth, Tabitha. Why won't you go to that church and save everyone? I have my reasons. All right, I'll tell you. If I step foot in that church, I will lose my powers. My magic. And I'm not going to lose my powers for anyone. Is that clear? You know, I always think the church is going to fall in when I step through the doors, too, but that never happens. Are you sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. If I go into that church and save those people, I will lose my powers. Finito. And I'm not going to lose my powers for anyone on this earth, blessed or damned. Is that clear? Oh, and Dora, you don't really mean that, do you? Oh, and Dora, please, please be reasonable. I know you love your father, sweet pea, but bad things happen to bad people. And your father has a date with death in that church, and I am not going to do anything to stop it. I can't, I can't lose my powers. Yes, but that was different back then. I was being punished. I knew I would get my powers back in the end. But if I walk into that church and perform an act of goodness, I, I might as well take vows and become a nun. He'll get most of my powers as a sacrifice, and the dark side will get the rest. Oh, I, I can't lose my powers in Dora. What would I do? How would I live? And how would I protect you? But I'm a witch, Dora. I've always been a witch. If they take my powers away, who will I be? How can I live? I, I can't be an ordinary mortal. I couldn't bear to be a, a mewling, puking, sniveling, cowardly mortal. Please, please, don't ask me to lose who I am. You don't understand, Endora. Magic is at the very core of my being. It's even more basic than being female. Okay, not to put any pressure on the situation, but TikTok, TikTok, people are dying. Who knows how many have bought the farm while you're sitting here dithering? Come on, time is running out. Please, Tabitha, can't you find it in your heart to save these people? No, I can't. I won't sacrifice my powers. Try to understand, Endora. If I try to save everyone in that church, I might as well die. I, 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 I don't... I don't want to lose my powers. I, I want to be a witch. It's the only thing I know, is being a witch. And when I lose my powers, all my enemies will come after me. And they'll do horrible things to me and you. I'm the mother and you're the daughter. I'm supposed to protect you. But you are protecting her, Tabitha, in the most basic way, by saving her father. I mean, come on, you can't let her father die. Oh, I don't know, Endora. How would I live without magic? You don't have to live without magic, Tabitha. I mean, I can introduce you to the right doctors and we can hook you up some good prescriptions. Oh, will make you feel... Yeah, shh, up. This is important. And Dora, what would become of me? You may not even love me anymore if I'm not magic. Oh, 
It would be so hard. Oh, Endora. Tick tock! Tempest Fugit! Come on! What's it gonna be, witch lady? All right, I'm letting you out of the cage, Indora. Oh. Oh. What are you sniveling about? You got what you wanted. Oh, no, it's just reminding me of something my mom used to say to me. What? I'm letting you out of the cage, Esme. I'm unstrapping you, Esme. Oh, don't, don't worry, I get sentimental sometimes. As I was saying, Indora, I am letting you out of the cage. But I want you to stay right here. And when Mummy comes back from the church, I want you to use your magic to get us to Nurse Precious Place. But we'll be safe. Right? You promise? You're welcome. I want you to grow up to be the best witch that you can be. Hmm, for now. Come on, Esme. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna save those people in the church and then I'm leaving Harmony forever. Refreshing. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, you are Harmony's only hope. You, you have to help them or they could die. Everyone dies sooner or later. I've done it many times myself. Oh, stop it. You cannot be chicken right now. I can't go in there as me. I can't. Every fiber of my being tells me that it would be wrong. But you must. Or, or they could all die a horrible death. And besides, do you want to honor Endora's wishes? The child, she doesn't know what she's asked me to do here. Dora, and Dora, you have disobeyed me. You said you would stay at home. Now go home at once. Go home, and Dora, go home. Life in harmony will come to an end without you, Tabitha. Life as I know it will come to an end if I do this! No more magic! What? What's she doing? Oh. She kissed me. She kissed me on my cheek. And Laura. Laura did. I will do it. I'll do it for you. I'll save them. I'll save them all. But from this moment on, everything is going to change. Okay, there is no time for this stuff.